course, Paul Kuhn joins me in the kitchen from last course to share their strawberry lime cream cheese tart. And I am a dessert person, Good. so like it's the it's the right matchup today for Perfect. sure. Perfect. <laughs> these these are really nice, simple desserts that you can do. But the the fun thing is the glaze that we put on it. It's a lime glaze, and it's oh, really really nice. It sounds so, incredible. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about last course for people. I think most people know who you are by now because there's four locations: there, right. Farmington, Salt Lake City, Draper, and Orem. Correct. But how did you start? We started about two years ago, uh, started developing the idea, and we wanted to do some gourmet ice creams, and we thought, you know, we got to do desserts too. It all has to go together to get, you know, as one. But these aren't just any desserts. No, we, uh, we kind of disassemble things and put them back, reconstruct them a little different than what you normally have. Mm -hmm. our, choc our German chocolate cake comes inside of a chocolate sphere, and you pour a caramel over it, and it melts, and it all incorporates the So I've seen that. So, I actually think yeah. at one point we may have sent Nisha to your draper store, and I okay. saw what happened and it was art it's, it's not it's even just dessert it's you don't almost don't want to eat it because it's yeah. so beautiful <laughs> you'll mess up the art but once you taste it you can't stop <laughs> it's true so there it's you go yeah. okay so we're going to jump in and start making this i've never made okay. a tart so how do we get started okay so we're going to start the glaze first what we do is we start with this is i'll let you do this okay um, this is actually limeade concentrate so Ooh. a can of limeade concentrate whatever okay. you want to do just melt it down uh-huh this is six ounces okay. of that and then we got a quarter cup of sugar and then we're going to take about a tablespoon of lime juice and put it in here and just stir that up. What with was the that? Baking soda? Baking our uh, cornstarch. Cornstarch. Yeah. Okay. And then so we that's just the want thickening. It, it just helps get this going because you throw it in there and the cornstarch will want to separate. So you mix that with the one tablespoon of lime Love juice. Love that. Pour it okay. In there. Okay. Mix and now that we're up. just going to turn it on, start mixing it up, and we're okay. going to cook it until it comes back to a nice shiny glaze. Okay. Ooh, how long yeah. does that usually take, Paul? Uh, two, three minutes. It's not long at all. So you have to yeah. kind of be ready to Keep see it all. Keep stirring it, uh-huh. Okay, got it. So once you have it done, and you always want to start this first because you want to have it warm. So you, you're sure. cooking it to a boil. Okay. And then you're going to set it aside and let it cool. Got okay. it. Okay, while you're doing that, what else? Once that's done, then you're going to take this. Now, we started with a can of sweet condensed milk. Ooh, just my favorite can, ingredient. You know, just drink it straight out <laughs> of the so can. Good. You know. It is it, so good. And then we're going to put eight ounces of cream cheese okay. in with that. Does it matter what type of cream cheese? Cheese. No. Can you buy it anywhere? Yeah, okay. any cream cheese okay. will Good work. To know. Yeah, Good to know. That's and then this is lemon juice, and we got a third of a cup of lemon juice. Lemon juice. In there. That's a lot of lemon. And that's it. That well, was the, easy. What the lemon juice does is it actually kind of cooks the sweet condensed milk. It thickens it up. Ah. So then we take that, and we're just going to mix that up. Okay. And I, I'll get in. That's okay. Magic of TV. Area, Go right? for it. Go for and it. So anyways, you mix all that up, and you end up with this cream cheese. And I love that you're so prepared, Magic I, of TV, yeah. like it's done. It's this done. is We're what it looks like when you're done mixing. So yeah, and I just use okay. a simple plastic disposable uh, pastry bag. And you take the tarts. Now I have graham tarts, or you can do a pastry tart. What's shell. your favorite? What do you prefer? Tart, uh, the, the, the pastry. pastry. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. That's what I want. Absolutely. And then you just pipe some of this in there. Now I'm going to let you go ahead and top it with whatever berries. Now we called for strawberries okay. in there. We talked okay. about doing a quarter. Uh, strawberry, and oh. then we toss it in the glaze, or you and can brush it on. And there's that chocolate on top, just shavings. And little shavings of chocolate, yeah. Mm, but you can put amazing. whatever berries you want. So I'm a blackberry like freak. There you go. I love so top blackberries. It. You can, is that you top okay? It how you want? Yep. Okay. This is so fun. Again, like it gets artsy, and at last yeah. course, um, people can come in and just can you buy one dessert a la carte, or do you have to buy a bunch at a time? No, or? you get one at a time. Now okay. this is not actually in the stores. This is exclusive for you guys. Ooh. Okay, so I just made this up for you. It's a real simple recipe, but it's something nice. Uh, the graham shells, you can keep those on your shelf at home anytime. You could throw this together in 15, 20 minutes if you have a surprise uh, guest coming over and you want to do something. Am I overloading it with up. chocolate? No, like, no. Is this it's, inappropriate? It's what you want. Actually, <laughs> you want, what, what want. we want to do is take this glaze and now you want to use it warm and you just want to kind of dollop this on top of the, the berries just to get that glaze. Do you trust me with this? I do. Oh my gosh, Paul. And then normally you'd put the chocolate on Okay, after that, as I finish this up, tell everyone about Cakes by Courtney. You probably okay, noticed yeah. over here beside us, we have some of the most decadent, beautiful cakes right here. Here, and it's all part of a new program so at last course. Slip behind you, surprise okay. over yep. here. Um, we've partnered with Cake by Courtney. Now, Courtney has uh, Instagram pages and websites where she tells you how to make cakes, and she does some beautiful cakes that uh, sh we have here. And you cannot buy them anywhere. The only way you get one of Cake by Courtney is you have to make it until now. Oh, until so now. So we've partnered with her, and we are going to carry three of her cakes every month in our stores. So you can just come and pick something so up or order something. you can come and grab something. a cake, yeah. <gasps> so we have the oh. grasshopper cake here. 
we have the Biscoff here, and we have the coconut. Those are our three for March, and they'll be available starting Friday. I need a taste of each. Okay. That's the problem. We're okay, there. hand me the fork. First, I'm going to taste my little tart that I did. And while I do that, remember, everybody, they have four locations right there on your screen. Go to Last Course on Instagram or lastcourse.com. And, of course, we'll link you to this exclusive recipe for our tart at abc4.com. We'll give this a taste, sure. Oh my gosh. You like that? I'm in. That the lime is just nice. It the just sets all that with the heavy so cream yummy. cheese. And, and the chocolate touch is beautiful. <laughs> you love it's, your chocolate. I know. I love my chocolate. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. All right, coming up next, everyone, celeb looks for life.